Access doors or cleanouts are required on all grease ducts for proper cleaning and fire prevention. The location of the access door can be found in your installation drawings. All access doors must be positioned on the top or side of the duct run. You should never, under any circumstances, position any access doors facing down. The grease dam should arrive pre-sealed with a flexible gasket. If they arrive separate, you can join them using sealant. Per the listing, 3M Fire Barrier 2000 Plus is the only sealant that may be used to seal this duct system. Sections must be clean, dry, and frost-free before sealing. When installed properly, this sealant will seal a duct system so it is leak-free, and at the same time will control the spread of fire before, during, and after exposure to open flames. Apply a quarter-inch continuous bead of sealant to the flange of the T. Center the grease dam over the opening of the T, with the gasket side facing out, and apply pressure to the grease dam to create a positive bond. Remove the excess sealant so that the access door can be removed later. Once the sealant is dry, attach the access door using a V-band. To facilitate future access, do not apply sealant to the V-band on any access door. The V-band hardware should be located on the top side of the access door between 10 and 2 o'clock. Tighten the V-band hardware to a final torque between 40 and 60 inch-pounds. Once the inner access door assembly is complete, install the access collar and secure it by tightening the V-band. Then, cut three pieces of insulation to size. Take the first piece of insulation and press it firmly against the inner access door. This will leave an imprint that you can use as a guide to cut out the shape of the handle in the insulation, which will ensure a tighter fit with no gaps or air pockets. Install the first layer of insulation with the handle lined up with the cutout. Press firmly around the entire layer. Install the remaining layers into place, making sure the insulation is tight. Then, install the outer cover and tighten the quarter 20 hardware to 40 to 60 inch pounds. If the duct is mounted outside, outer V-bands must be installed with the joint facing down to shed rainwater. In some cases, the T-assembly will arrive pre-sealed from the factory for use in outdoor installations. If this is not the case, you must seal all the seams that form the T-assembly, as well as all the rivet heads as shown. Use a generous bead of sealant to fill the seams, then wipe the excess to achieve a finished look.